What's up, y'all? This is Franchise Playback with Episode 5, Week 3 versus Arkansas Southside Uni Gladiators. This is our home opener, but before we get into that, just look at a little bit, just check in on recruiting. You see Rico Asiel, if y'all remember, he's number one on, we number one on his list. Porter Newhouse, we've seen top five, Furious Parker the same way. Morris Dunlap, we moving up a little bit. Some of these other guys is kind of... We, you know, of course, we got to fill out the roster, but we want the guys that I created from Chicago because that's the kind of team we want. Let's look at Drew Swindell. Where are we at on Drew Swindell? We only third. So we trying to catch Northern Illinois? Come on, man. Are you crazy? You supposed to go to Southside, baby. You a gla Are you a gladiator or what? They told me you was a gladiator. Do you want to be down? You come on over here, man. Let's look at the top 25. We ain't, we not in it. I just let y'all know right now. We ain't in it. But Ohio State is number one. Alabama actually got upset in the first game of the season against Virginia Tech. They sure did. Let's look at like other teams receiving votes. Not us. We not there yet. They, you know, I don't know. You just feel like some little bit of hating. Feel like some hating. And look at the uh, Heisman race. Nobody really knew has jumped up here. Jeremy Hill from LSU jumped into the top five. Let's look at what we look at the passing, you know, the leaders. Sebastian's down there. Dalton Kane, the outlaws, number four in the nation in Russian. Orion Whiteside, 92nd. Bryce Gunn, seventh in tackles. The Preacher, Lacey Dean Askew's tap of the lead in sacks. Malibu Croy is back a bit on interceptions. So, hey, there it is. Let's look at the numbers with Arkansas. They undefeated in the SEC. So, but outside of that, our numbers are not too different we played now you know we played a i mean maryland ain't that good but i mean we played number nine team in the nation clemson but we'll see what happens bryce gun you see with the 11 tackles there's lacy dean ask you just doing it all and uh here's their team uh they got a hell of a kicker man he didn't kick the 55 yard field goal this year they do have a middle linebacker out four weeks with a strained back and you can look like, see, I didn't tell y'all about this. I said I was going to change it, but I didn't. Calypso Field, we on the blue turf because we just felt that it fit. 435 left in the game. The handoff to Horton. Here they go with this. The misdirection runs are giving me a problem. Junior and Horton with a 10-yard run. All right, I'm, I'm with you. Here we go again. The handoff, this time to Williams. We get in the backfield missing tackles. You can't do that. You can't do that. Jonathan Williams broke off a 17-yard run because we could have had him in the backfield, missed the tackle. You can't do that. Third and two, 3.30 left in the first quarter. They are already inside the red zone. The handoff to Williams. We ain't on that, baby. We ain't on that that time. Chitarito with the tackle for a loss. They had to settle for a field goal. We down three to nothing. Bailey Sebastian rolling out to us right. Oh, Jesus, Bailey. Bailey. You just run dead into him, dog. So we ended up having to punt. Look at this here. Up off his helmet. Duke it boop. Duke it boop. Duke it boop. Off his helmet into our arms. We'll take it. Fumble recovery. You get the ball right back. Bailey Sebastian flips this one out to Darcy Nunn. Darcy Nunn used calf power on that. You see the man with the fat calves just bowled him over. Get out of my way, young fella. It's third and 15, though. We got to make something happen. Bailey Sebastian. Oh, my God. The big black stallion. Orion Whiteside open. They had a defensive breakdown. You cannot leave a big black stallion open up the sidelines. That'll never work out. Bailey Sebastian finds him. No, didn't even waste no time. Touchdown. We up seven to three after the extra point. Minute and four seconds left. We have had a little bit of problems with kickoff return, uh, with kickoff coverage, and here it is continuing. Cowan is breaking tackles. I mean, he is like Tech Mobile, Bo Jackson here. I don't know what was going on. Arthur Cowan with a big return. At the end of the first half, they're looking, trying to get on the board. And, oh, my, what was that? They call that a catch. I could have swore he was out of bounds, but they said it was a catch. Seven to three at the end of the first quarter. I just felt that that was controversial all in itself, but whatever. At the beginning of the second quarter, Allen to dump off to Williams. Look at the preacher. Lacey Dean Askew. Yes. With the tackle for a loss. Julian Williams. Oh, my. Look at him. Here he goes. Here he is with himself. Jonathan Williams, I'm sorry, with the big run. He ran over people. They are inside the five-yard line and trying to make things happen. But we ain't on that, dog. 
Yeah. Adolphus Pearson. We hit inside the five. Tried to run some. They had to settle for another field goal to seven to six. We still up by one. But look at the outlaw. Dalton Kane stumbles ahead just over the 40 yard line. Six, uh, 16 yard run. That was only his second run of the day. Didn't give him the ball as much as we should have. Bailey Sebastian back. He's got time to dump off the Zeus, the Greek god. Oh, hurt. Oh, little fella, get up. Oh, boy. Yeah, they didn't. Wasn't no first down because they hit him kind of hard. They didn't have to push him down like that. But we're going to go for it on fourth down because we believe in ourselves and it's the end of the first half and we think we can hold. Bailey Sebastian's looking. Bailey Sebastian's looking. Bailey Sebastian rolling to his right. Bailey Sebastian ain't doing a doggone thing but getting sacked. Jesus. And then he got hurt. He had a minor shoulder injury. So you know what that means. We had to bring in Xavier Monk, who is a freshman. I told you before, he is very talented, but we ain't sure he's ready. His accuracy is a little off the chain. Seven and seven to six at the end of the half. You see the numbers. We're on a negative two yards rushing. Part of that is because Bailey Sebastian needed GPS to figure out which way he's supposed to run. But he's back in the game. 430 left in the third quarter. Over the middle. That is yes. Good. Oh, what a what a play by Dale Powers. Dale Powers is having a good game. He's actually the guy who also recovered the fumble when it hit off the off the helmet of the Razorbacks uh, punt returner. So he's he's there right now. The little pass to Orion Whiteside with the first down. That's another catch for him. He's having a good game. Three receptions, 47 yards. We are about one point. This game is tight and it's a, a defensive struggle for sure. Third and 11. Big third down. We need something to happen here. Bailey Sebastian running the screen. Zeus again. Zeus again. Inside the seven. It's about to the five-yard line. Well, no, they gave it to us. No, it's a set. It was about the five. We got a yard on that first down play. Play fake. Bailey Sebastian rolling to his left. Oh, no, Bailey. Oh, no, Bailey. Oh, no, Bailey. Bailey. That ain't what. What in the devil, Bailey, are you doing? He thought he could get it in, but it didn't work out. And it turns into a pick six. Jared Lake, he done broke a doggone record. You understand me? Longest interception in return, 94 yards. <sighs> Perhaps you should have thrown a bullet. You think? No. They go for the two-point conversion, already up 12-7, to seven, and they're going to get it. They're going to get it. Whoa, he tackled him kind of hard, but we're down 14-7. to seven. Bailey Sebastian back, trying to redeem himself. Over the middle. Jesus, that should have been some kind of something. Bailey got hurt again. Oh, boy, here he go. He's doing his uh, Vance Lincoln now. It's the second time he didn't get hurt. Xavier Monk has to come in. He's going to hand it off to Dalton Kane. Let the outlaw do it then. Just let the out. That's a horse collar or something. He pulled me, man. You can't do that to people. That's that's against something. That's against the, some kind of rule. Bailey Sebastian can come back now. You know, he's we. you better play better than you did. You're not playing well. Third and ten. Four and a half minutes left. We down by a touchdown. Bailey Sebastian back looking over the middle. The big black stallion. Oh, God, dog. He don't like horses. He just slapped the taste out of Orion Whiteside's mouth. Five receptions, 69 yards. It was third and goal. Inside the five. Something's got to happen. Did nothing happen. He got sacked. Bailey, Sebastian, you are ridiculous. He's holding the ball too long today. Fourth and goal. Going for it. We got to have it. Oh, my middle. Jesus, yes. Dale Powers having a game. You have not heard his name all season long. You've been hearing about Darcy Nunn and Orion Whiteside. But Dale Powers said, I am a formidable third receiver. And he comes up with a humongous catch. Ties this game up at 14. A minute and a half left. Going down the middle of the field. Jay Primo. Yes. With the interception. That's three turnovers for Arkansas. We got this ball back, and we got our that You know what that was? That was the we on the way alarm that you just heard. That's what, no, it really wasn't. My phone needs charging. Don't worry about it. It's third and seven, 42 seconds remaining. Bailey Sebastian over the middle. Dalton Kane. Come on, where are we at on the field? We need to get in the field goal range. We're almost there. 25 seconds remaining. It's coming down to the wire. Bailey Sebastian. Oh, you missed the man that was open and tried to go for too much. Second interception of the game. Oh, and I, I, you know what? That was a shameful thing. Just shameful. 
17 seconds remaining. Now we are basically trying to keep them out of field goal range. But look at this. Look at the block. Who is that? Tony Baselli or somebody? What kind of block? He, this guy held me or something. Seven seconds remaining. We had to come up with a big play. They're going into the end zone. They, the batted ball actually ended up running the rest of the time off. We got lucky. We did. Overtime. What in the world is going on? I feel very un upset about the way this game has transpired. Baylor Sebastian over the middle. Dalton Kane got the first down. We already in field goal range, but this is overtime. You don't want to get a field goal because that puts too much pressure on your team. You want to get into the end zone so you can then put the pressure on the other team. Baylor Sebastian's back trying to do that. And what in the world are you doing to me today, Bailey Sebastian? Now, I, it looked like the, he was going to get more separation from that, but he didn't. He throws an interception in the end zone. So now we got to make plays like crazy. We got to push them out of field goal range is what we got to do. And this is a good start. Chidarito with the tackle. But the defense is pissed. Okay, they are pissed at the quarterback right now. Briscoe Burgess calls a timeout, activates antifreeze skill. Let's see if this is going to work. You already know Hawker is a great kicker. We mentioned that for a reason. And here he is cutting out our hearts in overtime and makes the field goal. And we can't blame anybody but Bailey Sebastian for this game. Our quarterback did not come, did not play well today. Three interceptions and every last one of them works costly. We don't care if it was an ESPN classic game. We don't care because that just ruined our perfect per, our chance at a perfect season. We lose it at home. Arkansas is not even ranked. We can forget pretty much. I don't think a national championship is going to be possible. Bailey Sebastian, 20 or 36, two touchdowns, three picks. Dalton Kane only had 14 rushes, 66 yards on the ground. I mean, that's not good for him either. I mean, man, you know, I don't know, man. Uh, what to do? Orion Whiteside, six catches, 75 yards, and a touchdown. You know, man, what what can you do, man, here? I mean, you know, only one sack this whole game. After the way we got to the quarterback against Clemson and against Maryland, we got one sack today. Everything turned the wrong way this game, and uh, we got to rebound. We got to come back, and we got to rebound in week four. Um, Y'all stay tuned for the next episode. I'm going to go slap Bailey Sebastian. I'm going to find him. I'm going to find him.